Hello, my name is Robert Hulvey. I'm an Associate Technical Director with Broadcom. I'm going to give a brief overview of the architecture of traditional profile specifications. What is a traditional profile? Traditional profiles follow the architecture used before the introduction of the GAT profile. These are sometimes called classic profiles. Examples include Advanced Audio Distribution Profile, or A2DP, Dial-Up Networking, Hands-Free Profile, Human Interface Device Profile, Message Access Profile, and Serial Port Profile. Traditional profile operation can be broken down into three basic areas of functionality. First is a device discovery. This is performed using the inquiry capability of the BREDR radio to discover nearby devices. Second is service discovery. This typically involves creating a connection to a discovered device and then using the service discovery protocol or SDP to determine the services the remote device supports. Finally, the profile communication occurs via protocols built on top of the logical link control and adaptation protocol or L2 cap. This protocol serves as a multiplexer to allow multiple profiles to share a single physical radio link. All Bluetooth profiles are built on a set of basic functionality known as the Generic Access Profile, or GAP. The below diagram illustrates the basic hierarchy of GAP as it applies to traditional profiles. SDP and profile protocols sit atop L2 CAP, which allows the protocols to share the radio. The Link Manager Protocol, or LMP, provides low-level link management functionality. The baseband and RF layers provide the MAC and PHY for the BREDR radio. GAP also prescribes security modes and how to use pairing and bonding to create trusted relationships between devices, along with encryption for secure communications. Finally, I'd like to just close with a summary of the differences between traditional versus GAT-based profiles. Traditional profiles use the BREDR physical layer and may optionally use a high-speed physical layer such as 802.11. They also use SDP for service discovery and L2CAP as the multiplexing layer. Traditional profiles do not use the GAT profile or the Bluetooth low energy physical layer. That brings me to the end of my presentation. I hope you found it useful and be sure to check out the rest of the videos on Bluetooth technology at Bluetooth.org.